Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Hey guys, welcome to another yet install and preview for the Pocophone F1 and in this video we're going to have a look at Evolution X ROM. Now a few days when I posted this on the community, one subscriber did mention that this is a very very good ROM. So it'll be interesting to have a look at it and this is basically a install and preview. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, my name is Kailash, let's get going. Alright, hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we're going to look at a new ROM, a different ROM that I've never tried on my phone, that is Evolution X. Now, today's video signifies the reason why we make these installs and reviews because as I mentioned earlier in one of my videos is that the flashing procedure for each and every custom ROM may be a you know, little different compared to the previous one and that is what has happened today. So in Evolution X, you need to first ensure that all your data is backed up, make sure you have more than 50% battery and also ensure that you have an unlocked bootloader and TWRP installed. Now for this particular ROM, you will just need the vendor firmware, the ROM file and a DFE with Magisk. You don't need open Google Apps because they are included. Please do not flash open Google Apps on Evolution X, otherwise you will have issues. So first things first, let's go to wipe, advanced wipe, Delvic cache system data, swipe to wipe, and then go to the home screen, install and start queuing files. So the first thing we need is the vendor firmware, add more zips, Evolution X ROM file, add more zips, and then we need the DFE with Magisk and swipe to confirm flash. Now we are flashing three files instead of four, but still it will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be very patient while that happens. All right, so for Evolution X, it didn't really, you know, go ahead and give me an option to reboot after flashing the Magisk file and everything, but that's completely fine. The phone will boot up just fine. Wait for the phone to complete the first boot, which will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be patient while that happens. And that is the boot logo for Evolution X. Let's actually get into the ROM and let's get to know what are the features and what all does it have to offer. All right, so as you can see, we are on the home screen of Evolution X. You do have the Google Now integration and yes we have yet another ROM which believes in the color black because we do have a dark theme over here and if you swipe from the top you will see that it's sort of a, a shade of blue and gray mixed with a black theme as the background and you do have quite a lot of applications because Google Play services and Google Play or Google Apps are pre-included in this ROM you do have Exopaper which is I believe a wallpaper application for this particular ROM and then let's have a look at the camera the camera included is the default camera it doesn't have portrait it doesn't have any fancy features FM radio Google photos and a few other things so apart from this let me confirm the basic things that voice over LTE works basic camera functions work just fine the phone charges fine and all the basic things that you would ever look for in any particular custom ROM are there and this big E sort of a logo wallpaper looks really really nice so now let's quickly go to settings of evolution x and let's see network and internet connected is that etc everything is there we should have a customization option there is one so this customization menu is known as evolution x but before that we will go to about the android version here is 9 the security patch is the 5th of june 2019 and let's go ahead and now this is something i like they have given a pixel sort of animation over here i don't know if you can see i think you can but yes so on the buttons at the bottom they have given pixel sort of uh, animation now if you go to evolution x you do have status bar quick settings buttons gestures lock screen power menu notifications and miscellaneous so even in status bar now before we proceed i'd like to show you over here this is something like always on display. Ambient display is something which is working just fine. Now before we proceed, a status bar customization is there. Quick settings is there. 
and in buttons you can you know go ahead and customize a lot of things so although what i would like to share here is uh, despite this rom you know showing a lot of uh, basic things like it shows that it just has basic customization when it when you actually enter the customization menu you will see that there is a hell lot of customization available and it makes me feel that you know this rom can do much much more uh, say double tap to wake is there so yes it looks like a very very interesting and very very promising rom and when i use it as my daily driver for a full review it will be a lot of fun trying this rom as well now let me know in the comment section you guys how much do you think you would score this rom out of 10 i will review it based on the 5 point rom review system very very soon in the month of july but uh, for now leave a like for this particular video if you liked it like the features of this rom and stuff like that all the download links are mentioned in the description until the next one this is kalash signing off with smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye